What is happening? It's J Mo, and it's time for another video with Shotty Mo Show Pools. And today we're gonna do a little budget rip for you guys. We were out at Target today. We stopped at a different location on our way to the comic book store, and they didn't have anything on the shelves, but they did have these Fairfield basketball boxes with uh, I guess they're like little uh, cubes or whatever to store your cards. So storage cubes. So they come with 100 cards plus one hit, it says. Looks like it's a bunch of junk wax from the early 90s, most likely. Um, but hey, it's only $8, I think. It, we have $7.99 per box. So I picked up one for my brother, one for myself. This one in front of us is actually my brother's. I um, wanted to be able to show you the guys the, uh, the way the box looks and everything like that. But I had to tear this stuff off to be able to open the actual case up. So um, the basketball product has 100 cards in it. Here you go right here. It tells you it's a Fairfield repack um, with one hit in there, either of a relic card or an autograph or whatever. I'm not sure what they have going on here. I'm not anticipating anything even close to big in this stuff, guys. Going to be a lot of trash. I'm probably just burning money, but hey, let's see if I can burn my money before you guys pick any of this stuff up on the shelves and burn yours too. So this one going to my brother because I saw that Patrick Ewing right there in the All-Star game. Um, looks like the one in maybe even San Antonio possibly. No, that's not. That's a regular, uh, so, but yeah, he's a big time New York Knicks fan, and that era was definitely good to him with the days of Patrick Ewing and them, even though they didn't get the chip, they had some, definitely, uh, some good teams and some good runs, so that one's for him, for sure, but, uh, yeah, you get 100 cards, like I said, plus one hit, nothing really spectacular about the box right there, tells you the same thing pretty much everywhere, very plain. Now, a lot of times when you get these Fairfield boxes, you'll get like a couple of packs and then some cards, but this was just straight cards, so I know it's going to be a bunch of junk. But hey, maybe they threw in something special for us one time. I hardly doubt it. So I'm going to open up this one today. Um, I picked this one out because it wasn't too many players that were very good on the boxes I saw, but I did see a Brad Doherty right there. I said, hey, maybe Haas doesn't have that one in collection, and if he wants it, he can have it. Uh, most likely he does, knowing this guy, though. But <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and open up this box right here and see what kind of 100 cards we get. On the other side, we have a Dave Hoppin. I did like that they had them both backwards like that, so you don't know which side to really start with and which side your hit could be on. So we're going to open this bad boy up. We're going to take a good look. We're going to kind of go through these 100 cards the best we can and tell you guys if it's worth your money. So... The cube will open up like this, guys, if you're curious. <laughs> Took me a minute to figure out how I'm supposed to open it. So it slides out like that. And, uh, yeah, you do have to rip the packaging because there's this right here. On, I think, yeah, on this side is basically stuck together by the seal right there. So you'll have to kind of get that off. So that's why I wanted to show you the full packaging. But we'll get that out the way. We'll take some cards out of this bad boy. We're not going to do a haul 100 because that's just too hard to hold. I'm not that good with my cards. We're going to see if we get anything cool. Any of my old favorite players, maybe some PC hits. See if I can get like David Robinson or Sean Elliott or something like that. That'd be real dope. All right, let's go. We've got Dave Hoppin for the Charlotte Hornets. Well, they're all backwards, so maybe we need to go this way. Here we go. Xavier McDaniel. I like the big X. He played for the Spurs for a hot minute. <laughs> yeah, buddy. The Kenbe Matumbo from the Fleer 94-95 set. Very cool. I like that. Not bad at all. And then we got a, wow, Sarunas Marcelonis. That boy could shoot. Yeah, buddy. 92-93 Fleer, guys. Like I said, a lot of early 90s junk, wa uh, junk wax, but quite okay. Still fun to rip and see these names. Okay. Paul Pressey. Got Danny Young for the Trailblazers. Uh-oh. we got here? Is that magic? Oh, there's Byron. We'll take it, Byron Scott from 92-93. I liked him when he was with Showtime, no doubt. Coming up behind him, very nice. We got a Moses Malone for the 89 NBA All-Star game. Very cool there. I'll take that, Moses. Coming up behind him, got a Terry Mills. For some reason, it's backwards. So Terry Mills got the. Ooh, that card is definitely blemished. <laughs> look at that. Look at that mouth. Like he got a milkshake stain on his lip. <laughs> All right. Let's see this next one. Here we got. We got Grant Long in the upper deck. Let's get that on the center camera, guys. Sorry. And then 
Okay. Stacy King. Okay. Next up, Sam Vincent for the Magic. Man, this is like first season Magic too, almost basically. Like when they first came in the expansion. Nice. Very cool. Oh, look at that. David Greenwood. That's from the Skybox series with that kind of bronzish. Tan Marley. Very cool. Thunder Dan was a good player, guys. He had hops. He could shoot the three. Everybody liked Thunder Dan. Okay. Delani Rudd. Next up, Rex Chapman. Very cool. With the Hornets. Man. I don't think that's a rookie card, is it? No. Yeah. So this is a second year card. Second year card, I think. Maybe. Rex Chapman. And then Terry Catledge for the Bullets. Mark Price, 89 NBA All-Star Game. Very cool. You want that to go with your auto there, Hoss? <laughs> All right. Okay. What do we got here? Flipped around. It's the Hawks. And it's going to be, that's a nice looking card actually, guys. Very cool. Very cool. Man, what year is that for Steve? It's a 93, 94. Okay. Man, he was pretty young then. Very nice looking card. like that one. That is from the upper deck something. All right, coming up behind him. Lots of cars in this set, that's for sure. Purvis Short. Classic NBA hoops. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Johnny Newman, I like all these Charlotte, uh, old school Charlottes. You got Chris Mullen in the background there. TMC. <laughs> all right. Larry Christorock. I don't remember that name, guys. Please forgive me, but I, I wasn't a huge fan of the Bucks growing up, to be honest with you. But that name, I should, I definitely don't know. <laughs> Tim Perry, Skybox, and all right, we got another one of those upper deck. Nice, and this is a Rod Strickland, guys. This guy was amazing. I loved watching Rod play. I hated that the Spurs gave up on him. They thought he was kind of a malcontent in his early years. But I got to go see him as a young kid play with San Antonio. And, man, Rod was a beast. Love Rod Strickland. We'll definitely keep that for the PC. Okay. Another Johnny Newman, this time with the Knicks. All right. Jim Paxson with the Celtics. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that, guys. Very cool. James Joseph Paxson. Very cool. And then another Hawks. And we got a Ken Norman. I like this set. Whatever this upper deck set is, is pretty nice. And then our last card for this little run is that Dave Hoppin we saw. Okay. So pretty cool so far. I'm, I'm enjoying this rip, guys. So at the very least, you're going to look at some cool cars, some cool players, a little vintage stuff, not much value, of course. They're not expecting that, but at least you get some cool stuff for the PC if you like to collect some of this stuff. All right, we got a Witherspoon. Yep. He definitely liked to get his dunk on, that's for sure. I remember that. Oh, wow. Very cool. Chris Morris. The Flare Ultra from 92-93. I ain't going to throw in no Jordan for me, are they? <laughs> Andrew Lang. Upper deck. And then Ron Harper. Very cool. The upper deck. When he's with the Clippers there. I sure would have liked to have seen it with the uh, Cavs. All right. Next up, Fred Roberts. And then got a Ben Coleman in the skybox. Buck Williams, without the goggles. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Buck Williams was a stalwart there for the Portland Trailblazers. And we got another Mark Price. Well, that's a cool-looking card right there. Wow. 
the collector's choice. That is a sweet one right there. I really like that card. Very nice on the Mark Price. Kevin Willis, Mr. Rebound himself. Him and Dennis Robin were definitely some of the best rebounders I ever saw play the game. I mean, this guy could rebound all day on you. Man, Kevin Willis was a beast. He actually played for the Spurs for a little short stretch too. <laughs> okay, oh, next card, skip one. Oh, look at this guy, it's a Craig Elo for the Cavs. Yeah, buddy. Getting to some of them classic Cavs players. Centering is definitely not good on this one at all. <laughs> but Craig Elo, he was a, he was a sharpshooter. Good shooter there. All right, coming up, boom. Skybox, Jeff Grayer. And then we got a coach for Jerry Sloan. Rest in peace, Jerry. That actually is a pretty good looking card, centered wise. Rest in peace, Jerry. And then check this card out behind him, guys. Kurt, yeah, buddy. Kurt Rambis in the Skybox for Phoenix. <laughs> Very cool card. I can dig it. Okay, Skybox is coming with some cool stuff. I ain't hitting none of my PC hits yet, though. Kevin Duckworth. Hitting a lot of Portland Trailblazers in this box, guys. Kevin Duckworth. Very cool. And then another Jerry Sloan. Wow, look at that. Rest in peace, Jerry. Look at that, guys. This one centering is definitely way off compared to the other one, but back-to-back -back Jerry Sloan's. Mitchell Wiggins. For the Rockets. Stacy King again. That's a rookie card though. All right. We'll take that. We'll sleeve up a Stacy King rookie card. He got him a chip or two. <laughs> okay, cool. Big rookie stamp on that bad boy. Very cool. Next up. Wow. That is what I'm talking about, guys, in the Spurs jersey. Doesn't have the rookie stamp on it, but look at the name on the back, guys. Rodney Strickland. Oh, man. That is so cool. So, so cool. So, second or third year card of Rod Strickland in the number one Spurs jersey. That is a PC hit all day. That, that made the box right there for me, guys. I mean, shoot. Such an underrated star, and the Spurs, I mean, I was so heartbroken when they let go of him, and I think I was only like 11 years old. <laughs> I was like, why'd they let go of Rod? Rod could ball. He had no fear, guys. Can you imagine if he would have been playing alongside David Robinson when he was young and coming up and was dominating as a sophomore and rookie, I mean, golly, as a rookie and sophomore for David Robinson, I mean, he was flying all over the place. That is a very nice card. Okay. Oh, wow. And look at this, guys. Look at that card. Very cool. The 90, 1990 All-Star Weekend. Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Lord Thomas right there. And check it out. It's number 11 on the actual card for the two. So that is really, really cool. We'll take that. Got a little corner ding on that one. Hey, guys. I'm not complaining right now. This stuff's cool. All right. I'm enjoying this. I hope you guys are having a good time if you're on this budget rib with me. What else we got here? Oh, this is an authentic round ball remnant relic card of Channing Fry. <laughs> Channing Fry, guys, from 2009-2010 Tops Basketball. Well, there's my hit. Channing Fry for the Portland Trailblazers, guys. There you go. Round ball remnants. Very cool. Not a bad little relic with the black. I mean, I don't really know if I'd call that a relic. I guess, yeah. It's got a little something on there. Very interesting. Very interesting card. I don't know if I can get this in one of these things. I'll probably have to use one of my larger ones. We'll see. But we are getting some pretty cool cards. It does fit in the sleeve. Very cool. All right. So, <laughs> no big name, but hey, we weren't expecting one, were we, guys? Let's keep it going. Oh, man, look at this. 
<laughs> you guys are probably wondering why does this guy keep getting excited over these random names, but these guys were ballers when I was I'm telling you. If you if you watch ball in the 80s and 90s, these guys are big time names. Detlef Shrimp. Check that card out. The Pacers, buddy. Yeah. And then a Mark Aguirre. Oh, nice. And right behind him, we got a dream. So Mark Aguirre, very underrated player right there. And we got Akeem Olajuwon. Very, very cool. Man, look how young he is in that picture, guys. Centering does not look bad at all. I'll take it. I will take that card. I do not think I have this in my collection just yet. So now it's there. Thank you very much, Fairfield. So we got a Rod Strickland. We got an Isaiah Thomas. We got the Channing Fry relic, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so we're having a good time. And look at this, guys. I don't I didn't know we have a card in this guy. This guy is always on TV now. But Eddie Johnson. You see him doing commentating announcing and things like that more now. But Eddie Johnson, when he was a player in the league. <laughs> okay, let's get these cards back in hand so we can get them a little faster for you. Okay, Jeff Lamp. Lakers. Very cool. I know a couple of people might want that in their PC. Uh-oh. Card sliding. Armand Gilliam. Okay. And then look at this, guys. Very cool. Skybox of Sedale 3. Man, I remember this guy could ball too. Sedale 3 with nothing to play with. Yeah, buddy. Very nice looking Skybox. Coming right behind him. We got Johnny Dawkins. Oh, yeah. Very, very cool. Johnny Dawkins. Next up behind him, Sleepy Floyd. Cool. Man, all these names are just, it's like nostalgia. This is a fun box, guys. For eight bucks, go rip it. Why not? Pick it up on your shelf. Just grab one. Don't, don't, don't try to flip them. Grab one. Grab some other ones for your friends or kids, but this is some fun stuff. Sleepy Floyd. And then, Cedric Sabalos. Mr. Blindfold himself. I still think that was one of the weakest winning dunk contest dunks of all time. You guys tell me in the comments what you think. That dunk contest was pretty disappointing. I mean, the blindfold on and then off one leg with two hands and we're supposed to be excited. Man, I was pretty weak, guys. Pretty weak. Y'all tell me what you thought about that. But even, even still, very cool card. Cedric Sabalos. NBA rookie record. Okay. So is this a rookie card or is this a second year card? Games play, yeah, this must be a second year card or in the middle of the card or in the middle of the season, one of that, but very cool. Cedric Sabalos, possibly rookie. Oh, and look at this right behind it, a PC hit from my brother. Let's see what we got here. This is in the next jersey too. Very cool. Here we go. Let's get this back up. And we got a Patrick Ewing. Looks like it might be backwards. And there we go, it's the Fleer. Playing the Bulls in the background. Horace Grant, number 54. Who is that next to there? Stacy King, maybe? Very cool card. There you go, Joe Mo. Right there for your PC. And right behind him, for the Bullets, David Wingate. And then, right behind him there, we got a Dan Shays. Next up. Uh, Malcolm Mackey and the gold. These are classic. I don't even know. Classic something, guys. <laughs> One of 9,500. Classic basketball, gold PF, whatever that means, guys. Georgia Tech, Malcolm Mackey. See, if I could have had a Georgia Tech of Kenny Anderson, now we'd be talking. <laughs> But here's another one, a Rich Mannings, or Manning. All right, out of those. Now we got a Lance Blanks, or Blanks, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh-oh, Clyde, there we go. I'll take a Clyde Drexler. Not bad. The car actually looks really clean, too. 
Nice finish on it. 92-93 Fleer of Clyde Drexler. Okay, next up we got, oh wow, look at that guys. Greg Anthony for the New York Knicks. What year is this? Look at that guys. I mean, wow. That's not his rookie card, is it? Joe Mo. I can't remember. He didn't get drafted by, did he get drafted by the Knicks? Why am I thinking he got drafted by... Oh, boy. Y'all have to help me out. I'm not having a good day with my memory, I guess. Maybe he was drafted by the Knicks, but... 92-93. Looking very, very young right there. Well before the Portland days, and he started really balling out of control. Okay. Marlon Wiley. Oh, let me put this back over this side. Next up, Harvey Grant, twin brother of Horace Grant. Very cool. I do not have any cards of Harvey. Horace was one of my favorite power forwards when he was playing in his prime with, uh, uh, what you call it, with Mike before he got traded off or he left or whatever happened. So Harvey Grant, very cool. Ralph Sampson, sweet skybox. Kelvin Upshaw. Scotty Pippen. What? Hold the phone, guys. And right behind him, look at this, guys. Third year, Scotty Pippen. All kinds of off-centered. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I'll take it. I'm sleeving off-centered Scotty up. Third year, looking young as all can be. Yeah, buddy. That's for the PC. And then right behind him, like I said, my favorite power forward in his prime, Horace Grant. And same thing, third year card. This centering is much, much better. Not on the front, but on the back it was. <laughs> so very cool. Get to sleeve those two back to back. I was not a Bulls fan at all um, growing up. And uh, mainly because whenever Jordan and the Bulls came to town, they torched my spurs. I don't think we ever stood a chance anytime they came to town. But uh, yeah, I was always a fan of uh, Horace. I had, matter of fact, I had his entire... Jersey set up from a friend of mine's mom that bought it for me as a youngster. Oh, and look at this. Sam Bowie. Wow. Mr. Infamy. Mr. Infamy. Sam Bowie. Portland's wondering why. <laughs> and then Benoit Benjamin. Very cool. Okay. We got about maybe 20 more cards to go, guys. Let's see what the last cards in this box had the offer for us. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm already happy. Boom, Charles Barkley. Again, centering is awful. I imagine most of these cards are going to be pretty bad with that stuff, but pretty cool. An all-star game of Charles Barkley. So I got the Charles Barkley, and I got the Isaiah Lord Thomas. Very cool. Next up, Roy Henson, and another Johnny Newman. Johnny Newman is the man of this box. Cool, a Cliff Robinson rookie card. Very nice. I will definitely take that. Cliff Robinson was the man. Okay, a rookie card of Cliff Robinson. Very cool. I'll take that for the PC. Next up, uh-oh. Next up, another Charles Barkley. <laughs> well, go figure there, guys. That's how they do you. Two of the same card in one box. <laughs> Anybody a big time Charles Barkley fan? Let me know. Free cards coming. All right. Charles Barkley again. Scott Brooks for the Sixers. Greg Anderson for the Bucks. Very cool. And then look at that. A Mark McNamara for the Lakers. Skybox. Steve Stepanovich. Tom Chambers, one of the first stretch fours. <laughs> okay, okay, Danny Ainge for the Kings. Yeah, that's in his home stretch right there. <laughs> All right. John Conkac. Didn't do much. Oh, wow. Another nice looking retro card here. The collector's choice of, wow, look at this, guys. The Chief, Robert Parrish. 
artwork by Alan Studd. That is a beautiful looking card. Centering looks great. Yeah, I think I might have to keep that for the PC. Or at least hold on to for a little while before I decide to let it go to some diehard Celtics fan. All right. Very cool card there. I like that. I I'll always love anything that's kind of artsy or whatever. I'm just, you know, I love artwork and all that stuff. So anytime I see any kind of art designs on cards, it just makes me excited. <laughs> all right. Let's get to the nitty gritty here. Boom. Last few cards coming up. Bob Thornton. Another Charles Barkley, but this time it is the base card. And golly, look at that centering. I mean, it's almost all the way to the edge, guys. Whew. Boy, oh boy. Looks like it's a sixth year Charles Barkley card. <laughs> really bad centering. And oh, look at this one. Me and my brother were actually just talking about this guy the other day. John Starks. All right, guys. And that's a very fitting photo. That's a beauty. Wow. If my brother wasn't such a diehard Knicks fan, that would definitely be in my PC. But I guess you can have it, my brother. What a beautiful card there, guys. Good Lord. So John Starks, guys, y'all tell me, did anybody have a better playoff dunk in the history of the NBA? I mean, I can't really remember one. That shake and bake left-handed over, who was it? Was it Horace and uh, Mike or was it Pippen and Mike? Man, that was whew, still one of my most memorable dunks of all time. And then he followed it up with one of the worst shooting performances in the history of mankind. <laughs> we'll sleep that bad boy up for my brother. That is a sweet card right there. I really like that, guys. Upper deck, John Starks. Looks like this might be a fifth-year card there, Joe. Okay. We're getting down to the end of it, guys. Coming up, Sacramento Kings scorecard. Did you know it's going to be... Can I be... A, oh, huh. Kings, upper deck. <laughs> it's just a Kings team card. Very interesting. Okay. Well, there you go. It's some kind of artsy and stuff, so they I like that. But And what's this? Oh... Look at that cool card, guys. I got so fooled for a second when I saw... <laughs> I got fooled for a second. I'm like, they throw a Kobe in here on me? Just that kind of... That glance. That was pretty cool. Good, good job. Oh, wow. Hubert Davis. Very cool. Very, very nice. He was a great player for UNC and a very, very good pro. I like Hubert Davis. Very sweet. All-star game. All right, man, Joe, is, I guess I should have given you this box instead of the other one, maybe. And check out this all-star game of Clyde Drexler with the hair, guys. I mean, he had a little bit of hair every once in a while, but this is like the most hair I think we ever saw him with since, you know, college. <laughs> so very cool there. That's what, uh, third year? Yeah, buddy. Third or fourth year, Clyde Drexler. And then a Robert Pack for the Denver Nuggets. Robert Pack was definitely a flyer. He could dunk. And another Isaiah Thomas, 92-93-er, or 93-er, 93 Fleer. <laughs> All right. Another Scott Brooks. A James Edwards. <laughs> All right. Last card. Okay. We got a Robert Pack again. This time with the Blazers for the 92-93 uh, Fleer. Very cool. And then the last card, we knew it was going to be Brad Darty. Very nice looking card. Centering is actually not too bad. Not too bad. And look at that. Scotty defending with Bill Cartwright on the other side of him. Fourth year card, Brad Darty. Very cool card. I like that a lot. Okay, well, there you go, guys. That is my budget rip for the day. It took a little bit longer than I thought it would going through 100 cards, but man, that was fun. Oh, yeah. And uh, other than that, I hope you guys...
find some of the stuff out in the wild. I don't think people will be snatching up off the shelves as fast, and so you might have a chance to grab one box, and maybe you'll find some cool PC hits for yourself as well. If anybody gets any of this stuff and they want to trade anything, holla at your boy. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one. Have a great one, guys.